I made the snuffle mat for my cat espresso and I'm going to fill it with uh, some treats and some kibble and see how long it takes my boy to find all the little goodies inside this little snuffle mat. It should keep him busy for a while and tire him out. Using a slow feeder like, uh, snow, uh, sorry, a snuffle mat like this is a good way to get animals to uh, use their noses and work hard for their food. Um, when they live in homes with us, they don't really have to often work hard to get their food. Um, cats who are outside and in the wild would normally hunt quite a few times a, a day, so they get a lot of uh, uh, activity. And um, this is one of those ways you can give them some fulfillment in their lives by letting them work for lunch or breakfast or dinner or whatever it is you're feeding them. Um, so kibbles are now in place. I tried not to make it too hard um, because I, he hasn't done a snuffle mat this complex in a long time. So I want to give him, um, you know, make it a little bit easier on him. Snuffle mat ready to go. Here's espresso, really looking for it. Spin. I'm shaking it out after he just walked away from it and um, nothing's dropping to the ground so he got everything in. So you're sold on getting your pet a snuffle mat and you decided you'd like to make one but you don't know how to go about it. It's pretty easy. First, you need to obtain some rubber matting that you can weave fleece pieces through. What you see here is a small cat-sized mat which is actually a quarter of a larger mat. So you can make one large dog-sized mat or four small cat-sized snuffle mats. Here you can see the one large base in the back and two completed snuffle mats in the foreground. And of course you need fleece to make a fleece snuffle mat. I purchased two feet of purple and two feet of turquoise to make the snuffle mats that I wanted to make. I am just partial to those two colors. And I cut those into strips um, that were about half an inch to three quarters of an inch thick and about eight inches wide. I didn't worry about perfection with the cutting. I just tried to make sure that I had plenty of strips available for when I got ready to start making knots. Once I had all that fleece cut, I started making knots around the base. I would feed a strip through each side of a hole and then tie a basic knot and then move on to the next hole. Here's the back side of the completed snuffle mat and the front side of the completed snuffle mat. 